very proud of um, our football team on getting getting win number one. There's a lot of people that put a lot of work into getting to this point, and uh, excited to see them uh, have some success. Still got a long ways to go in, in all three areas of the game, but but did some really good things tonight. Made progress from week one to today, and uh, we we've got to make sure that we, uh, with great urgency, uh, enjoy this one, and then get let's get ready for our next opponent. Uh, so we'll, we'll have our hands full. We know that, and uh, but I'm excited for for kids. It was fun in the locker room seeing them uh, celebrating and. Uh, Enjoy the moment for a little while, so that, that's good. And uh, we'll, we'll get started here in a couple hours on, on the next one. And, um, very thankful for our fans, very thankful for the home crowd uh, advantage that I could definitely feel our players felt it. And uh, that means so much to me and so much to this program. Uh, Saturday night in, in the zoo is uh, one of the greatest experiences for a student athlete to have, and, and that's going to continue to grow. And, uh, do a great thing for a program moving forward. So thank you, thank, thank you so much to the fans and all the people over there tonight. Uh, it's happy to see uh, Jim Sturk after the game. It's good to see him smile. I hope that there's many, many, many wins uh, over my career and his career working together um, that will make this place into a championship program. So uh, I'm thankful for him. Anyway, I'll open it up for questions and. This is Barry said up. So Barry, uh, last week a lot was made of Jamon seeing 21 passes. How good was it to see so many guys get involved? I don't think he had anybody with more than five catches. Yeah, I'm looking down at it, Gabe, and, and it doesn't have everybody listed there, but it says Jonathan Johnson had five catches, Demetrios Mason had five, Blanton had four, Wingo with three. I think it's important that, that offensively, um, a lot of it will be dictated on, on what looks we're getting from the other side. So the 12 guys that are playing receiver, you know, with receivers and tight ends in there, they'd be ready to go because you don't know, you know, we're going to be aggressive on how we play. Um, you know, there's, there's going to be times just like well, Jamon had 23 targets last week, probably didn't have anywhere close to that. But offensively, other guys stepped up. I think it's important that, uh, you know, it's also noted that Drew did a tremendous job on going through the progression of reads on what he needs to see, uh, you know, pre-snap, and then and then making sure efficiently he delivers the ball. The like offensive line again, we had time to, to uh, stand in the pocket, and uh, you know that's those guys working together, and that's offensive line, and the and the running backs working together in protection. Um, so did some really good things there, without question, and and uh, it's exciting for me to to see. Offensively, once we get that first first down, uh, they're they're going to go at a pretty good clip, and I still think there's times we can play faster, um, and we'll we'll continue to work to to get there. And I think it's also important to um, you know, at times that if you line up in third and one, you can line up under center and know you're going to go get the first down. It's pretty efficient too. Drew Lock, uh, a lot of talk to this point has been about his potential and. What you guys see from him uh, tonight? I mean, the way he was dropping those deep balls, and you know, I think third most passing yards in school history ties the record for touchdown passes in a game. I mean, is this his coming out party? Oh, Todd, I think you know you look at his ability and his skill set, and, and again, it, it takes a great week of preparation. He has the skill set to, to be a really good player, but it takes a great week of preparation. That takes ten guys around him playing really well, and uh, you know they've got to read the same thing he's reading to to an extent. And then able to connect on those. You know, there's you look at us on Tuesday and Wednesday in practice, and uh, I don't know how many we throw, but it's a million plus. Seems like down the field throws. Uh, when you can connect some of those, I know with this being on the other side of it defensively, uh, that that takes it out of you a little bit. You know, when you connect a long pass. So I was happy we were able to get some of those completed tonight. Uh, our receivers did a great job on getting on top of the coverage. And uh, coming down with the ball at times, so it's, you know, made some good catches in there. So I think Drew's going to continue to get better. Uh, I think he's still got, uh, you know, a lot of room to grow. Um, it's exciting offensively to see um, those guys have success, but but I also know that that uh, you know, we can we can be a lot better. We also we didn't see Marvin until the very end of the game. Was 
just didn't like the matchup to rotate them. This guys felt or? felt more comfortable with kind of what we were where it was going offensively. Uh, you know, we we talked throughout the week on on rotations and where that would go, and that's uh, kind of it's kind of where it played out this week. But you know, still, like I've said a number of times, excited about what Marvin brings, what he can do, and uh, you know, Drew was uh, playing really well at that point. So 